All right, so this is a description of the, the systems that we're dealing with in agriculture and how, how carbon moves in between various parts of the system. So hopefully you'll be able to see this all right and hear me all right. Um, so we're just gonna be real, keep it really simple here. We've got oil down here way deep underground. We've got, which has a bunch of carbon in it. Uh, we've got soil, which holds a bunch of carbon as well. And then we've got other things up here. You know, one of the things we're really concerned about is actually the atmospheric carbon. Um, people talk about emissions not a lot. And one thing I want to drive home in part of this is emissions are not really the problem. Um, what we really care about is how much carbon is in the atmosphere. CO2, methane specifically. Um, but those are the big ones. How much greenhouse gas is there. And I'm going to show a little bit about how that works. So we got a couple other things here. We got a tractor, we got a plant, and we got an animal. Um, so all right, let's map this out briefly. Um, so a plant starts growing, and as it's growing, it pulls carbon out of the atmosphere. Right? That plant, the plant material itself is comprised of carbon, uh, and a few other things. So it pulls carbon out of the atmosphere while the plant grows. While plants grow, they also pump a bunch of carbon into the soil. So you got carbon flowing down here into the soil as well, through the plant. Um, now another thing that happens, if we, if we assume that the soil carbon or the soil organic matter is constant year to year, that means there's no net change. So if we put a pound of carbon in the soil from this plant, that means another pound has to leave and that's gonna leave back up to the atmosphere. It gets metabolized by organisms in the soil. So, another part of what happens here, that doesn't comprise all the carbon that uh, the plant took up. Some of that's, you know, in its biomass. So this, this plant here, a uh, cow comes along, or a sheep, or whatever it might be, uh, and it eats it, right? So we end up with some of this carbon going here, into this animal. Now, if the animal doesn't put on any weight, we can also assume that that animal's, the amount of carbon in the animal is, is going to be effectively the same. Um, so that means for any carbon it takes in, it also gives that carbon off. And the way animals give off carbon, um, and the humans are the same way, is CO2, which is your waste product of your metabolism, and methane. Uh, they give both of those back. So that goes back up to the atmosphere. Now, that cow probably doesn't actually eat everything. Uh, this plant, you know, it'll eventually it'll die, and it'll lay over on the soil surface, and at that point, you know, it'll go, it lays down, and it breaks down again, the same way that, that soil carbon um, gets broken down, and then it goes back up like this. It goes back up like this, back into the atmosphere. So if all these things are in balance, and this is just like your checking account, um, if you're not increasing the amount of soil carbon here, uh, you're not increasing the mass of the animal, and you're not increasing the mass of the plant year to year, that means the amount of carbon here was the same as it was last year. So that, and the only way that can be true is if this part of that system did not add any carbon up to the atmosphere. And that's important because, because of this second part. Because most farming, you know, isn't done... Uh, doesn't behave this way. Uh, we use tractors. Uh, so if this is a corn plant and that farmer plants that corn, he sprays it and then they harvest it and store it and everything else, they're burning oil the whole time. So that oil they got to, you know, pump out. It goes up in this tractor. The tractor consumes it and it respirates back up into here. Now the problem with this is here, everything that that animal uh, emitted, all the emissions of that animal, are essentially balanced by the emissions or, or the sequestration of the plant that it ate. Um, and, and in fact, a, a good way to state it, an animal can, cannot emit a molecule, molecule of carbon that a plant doesn't first sequester. So the, the amount of carbon uh, in a plant is always going to be larger than the amount emitted by an animal. But there's no drawdown on this side, right? There is no um, tractor coming along that's pulling carbon back down from this atmosphere, from the atmosphere. And that's additive to the system. 
That means the amount of carbon next year, if you ran that tractor in the atmosphere, is larger than the amount of carbon uh, this year. And that's in a cycle now. Before it was down here, and it was locked away, it didn't bother the rest of the system, everything that was going on on the surface of the planet. That's no longer the case once it gets up here. And this would be an important point. I'll have this, um, it, as this, these talks go on, you'll see this picture more and more often, and I want you to think about that relationship a little bit.